Hey everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So happy to see you and have you here on this Sunday night, August the 6th. Hope y'all had a wonderful day um, and have had an amazing weekend. Hope you are ready for the brand new week. I'm getting on super late today. Um, it is about 8.45 in the evening here, um, but I was not going to let this day end without getting some empties out to y'all. So um, <laughs> this video will be done and uploaded tonight before I go to sleep, but it's probably gonna be super late, so it will probably be Monday before you're seeing this. Um, but these are my empties from this past week. So as always, I have my big basket of my personal goodies and then my little basket of some melting challenge things. Um, let's do the melting challenge first. Uh, so, you know, with the melting challenge, I've said before that I try, like I really, really do try to do it every day. Um, there are some days, however, when I see the prompt and I may not have anything to go with that prompt or I may have something, but I don't feel like it's fully cured and ready to go. Um, so that's kind of where I am with the melting challenge. Um, but let me show you the things that I did do last week. I know there was one day that was melt something um, beginning with the letter A, I believe. And so I pulled out lavender and speckles, apple and vanilla butter fudge. This is Macintosh apple, vanilla butter fudge, and funnel cake. This was yummy, yummy. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, that Mac Apple, man. Oh yeah, it's still so strong in the empty bag. Um, the Macintosh Apple, definitely, you know, the first thing that you get. Oh, but that Vanilla Butter Fudge is in there too. A little bit of funnel cake. It was delicious. Um, if I were to get this scent again from Beth, and I probably will because it was so good. I would hold on to this for maybe like the the fall months, like September, October, kind of maybe like when the state fair comes. Because when I smell this, especially when I had it warming, it reminded me almost of like a caramel apple. Um, it just kind of gave me like carnival state fair vibes. So next time I would hold on to this, maybe for later into the fall, but it was so good, so strong, definitely a repurchase. Uh, okay, I know one day was, I think it was melt a watermelon scent, and then in parentheses she put, or something that starts with W. I didn't really have anything watermelon that I wanted to melt, so I found this clamshell from the bathing garden. This is something I picked up in the round robin. Um, the bathing garden whimsy. And the scent notes were on the side, which was so helpful. Uh, this had bergamot, orange, pineapple, lemon, banana, and coconut. This was really, really good. Um, oh yeah, so good. I've only ordered from the bathing garden twice, I think. And I do know that the bathing garden, at least for me, her things benefit so much from a long, long cure time. I know the past couple of times that I ordered, I let my bathing garden stuff sit like for, I want to say a year maybe. So I'm not sure how old this is just because I got it from the round robin, but it did perform pretty well. Um, it kind of reminded me a little bit of like a tropical drink, almost like a pina colada with that um, like pineapple and banana and coconut. It was good. I really enjoyed that. Okay, um, another day was melt a green scent. 
So I found this sample from L3 Waxy Wonders in the perfect pair. And this one, this one I liked. It wasn't a pear scent that like I'm used to. This was almost like a very sweet pear, like maybe a candied pear. Um, I really didn't get like a juicy, ripe pear. I got just kind of a sweet, sugary, candied pear, if that makes sense. But it was good. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Um, another day was, sorry, I had to figure out what this was. I believe it was Melt A Wax Sample. So I pulled this one out from Up the Creek Scents in Pistachio Pudding Strawberry Pound Cake. Y'all, I love Up the Creek. Love it. Um, this one was really, really good. I had this in my kitchen. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of the pistachio pudding. I mainly just got a really creamy strawberry pound cake. It was delicious. And while we are on um, up the creek, I can tell you that I placed an order with Shannon last week, I believe. So um, should be getting an order from up the creek any day. Okay, now the thing about this one, I found this one at the bottom of like my stash. So I honestly don't know if this was from this past week or the week before, but I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you now. Uh, I think this maybe was from a couple of weeks ago. This I know was from the day where we um, were asked to melt a cheesecake scent. And I really don't think that was last week, you guys. I think that was maybe two weeks ago. Anyway, um, this was Traverse or Traverse City Wax Co. Formerly Ava's Country Cupboard. A four pack of her smiley faces, strawberry cheesecake, stuffed pretzels, soft buttery pretzels, creamy cheesecake, and fresh picked strawberries. Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's so funny. Like, I know she's been Traverse or Traverse for a while, but I still always want to call her Ava's. Um, Lindsay has, and I've said this before, my all-time favorite strawberry oil. I mean, I love her strawberry blends so much. Anytime I place an order with her, I will search her website for anything strawberry, and I will buy it. This was so good. Loved it. I would definitely repurchase that. Um, okay, this is the last thing I have in my melting challenge basket. And this was actually, um, I think this was yesterday. Yesterday was melt a sunflower scent or something with yellow wax. And I was so excited because um, I knew I wanted to pull this out. This is from my most recent or my latest uh, Rose Girls order. A bag of mini melters in teas, teas, tis the season. And if you can see the spelling, it's not season, it's C sun. S E A dash S U N, so cute. Which was sunflower, swimming pool, and lilacs. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. Oh my gosh. And I paired this with my Bath & Body Works Fresh Cut Lilac Candle. You guys. <laughs> it was almost, almost, not, not quite, but almost to the point where it was too strong. Like, that candle is a powerhouse. This is a powerhouse. There were times during the day when I had to kind of blow out the candle for a little bit um, because my entire house smelled, it smelled like a garden, like a garden full of lilacs. I'll be honest with this, I really didn't get the sunflower, um, the lilac in this. Maybe it's because I had the candle going too, but you guys, oh, it was so pretty. And I had that going 
pretty much the entire day yesterday. I did turn off the warmers, obviously blow out the candle and when I went to bed. Woke up this morning to get ready for church, could still smell it. With the warmers turned off, the candle out, I could still smell that lilac. Just, it was so pretty. So pretty. Loved it. All right, so that is it for my melting challenge. Let's move into my big basket of personal goodies. I did finish one Bath & Body Room Spray in Strawberry Pound Cake fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I feel like anybody who has ever stepped foot into a Bath & Body Works has tried this scent at least once in their life, whether it be the candle, the body care, the room spray. I mean, what's not to love about strawberry pound cake? Love it. And I did finish two candles, one from Bath & Body, one from Tuscany. Uh, the Tuscany one, Summer Orchard which on here it just says fresh apple and peach nectar so we've talked about tuscany y'all know that i just kind of have a love-hate relationship with tuscany um i pretty much only buy the candles if they're on sale which this one was at kroger it was like three dollars um so that's really the only reason i bought it um I mean, Tuscany candles, they perform pretty well for me. I mean, I get a clean burn all the way down to the bottom. The wicks really never give me any issue. There's really never any sooting with these. My main issue is just the scent. I mean, I would say this was like maybe a three <laughs> out of a 10 throw wise. So um, yeah, I only get them if they're like really, really on sale because I mean, the performance as far as like scent throw isn't the greatest. Now this one, let's just have a moment of silence for this candle. Oh, yes, we are talking about Summer Boardwalk. You guys, I did. I shed some tears when this candle was done. And I've been in Bath & Body like just a few days ago, and I guess they're not selling this anymore. At least in my store, I didn't see any more of these. If I had, I would have stocked up. Um, I love, love this candle. I had this candle last summer, and I don't know if they reformulated it. Um, I know the packaging is different, but for some reason, I don't remember last year's throwing as like crazy strong as this one did. This one, 10 out of 10, I could smell this. It did not matter where I burned this. If I burned this in my kitchen, it spilled out into my living room. If I burned this in my living room, it spilled all the way up the stairs. I mean, this thing was amazing scent notes caramel glazed popcorn warm taffy apple salty sweet cream oh i love it this kind of along the same lines as the apple and vanilla butter fudge like i can see getting this again next year and saving it for like when the fair comes to town um I mean, I know it's called Summer Boardwalk, but I can see, you know, um, I know Carson mentioned one time he's going to save his for like, you know, maybe a transition from like summer into fall. This is so good. I didn't really care for the packaging. The packaging was okay. Um, I wasn't like a super big fan of this kind of stripe stuff, but the scent, obsessed obsessed i need more love 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 very sad that that one is all gone <laughs> okay let's get into my wax um i finished this bag of mini melters i was kind of obsessed with this i got this in the round robin and when i got it in the round robin it was full and the round robin was not that long ago so i emptied out this entire bag in a matter of maybe like a couple of weeks. I loved it. Rose Girls vibing 
bamboo, sea salt, ocean, hemp, grass, and green vetiver. Um, and it's so funny, you know, normally I don't go for like really fresh, clean, aquatic scents like this, but this was just beautiful to me. Um, and I did this in my bathrooms through like crazy, loved that. I did two sample size melts from the Waxy Shop. In one was Spiced Honey Bee. This one pleasantly surprised me. This one was Honey, Amber, Tobacco Leaves, Oud, and Tonka Bean. Those scent notes, like, <laughs> they really don't scream carry, especially with the oud and the tobacco leaves, but I put this in my master bath, and it was, it was really nice, really, really pretty. Um, pleasantly surprised on that one. Now, this one, even though I think it's a misprint, this was morning matcha, bergamot, lemon, orange, green tea, sea salt, sandalwood, and cream. This one... This one was good. Um, not super duper strong for me at least, but it was still nice. I did that also in my master bath. So, um, okay, I did, I did, I feel like I did quite a bit from the round robin. Um, this was in the round robin box, a clamshell from Handworks in Swedish Dream Salt. This was my first time to ever do anything with Swedish Dream Salt. This one and that Vibing from Rose Girls, very, very similar, very fresh, very clean, very watery, kind of aquatic. Um, loved it, loved it. And I have never ordered from Handworks. I don't even know if like they're still around, if they're still in business. I need to check out the website uh, because this performed really well for me. I would definitely, um, order. I know Susan Fitzpatrick has talked about this vendor, so I'm definitely going to see um, what I can see on their website. Uh, oh, another one that I loved. This was a two-pack of bunts from L3, strawberry pound cake, mac apple, and fresh cut grass. <sighs> yes, love. Um, the fresh cut grass is so funny. Can't stand it on its own. <laughs> Cannot stand it on its own. But I have learned that I love it in blends with um, like some kind of fruity element or some kind of bakery element. This had all three. The fresh cut grass, the mac apple, and the strawberry pound cake. It was so good loved it loved it you definitely got that little grassy note but the grassy note was not the first thing you smelled for me my nose i felt like i got the mac apple i felt like the mac apple and the strawberry pound cake were maybe tied and then that grassy note was just kind of like a little you know undertone um loved it i would get more of that for sure uh, L3, this was a sample, Sweet on Paris. Um, this was really pretty. I'm not really sure, is Sweet on Paris, is that like a, is that blush or is it a body care? I don't know. Um, I did this in my master bathroom. It was beautiful. Also from L3, this was, I think this was one of her leaf shapes in Time for Some Sugar, Raspberry Jam, Vanilla Butter Fudge, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Vanilla Ice Cream. I liked this a lot. Um, that Raspberry Jam, delicious. Um, that one was really good. Sticking with L3, this was a sample in Sugar Cakes. Um, this one was all right. This one um, I did, I think I did this in my kitchen. Um, it was just, to me, it was just kind of like a creamy vanilla bakery scent. It was nice, nothing spectacular. And then I did two clams from Goose Creek. Um, this one, Apple Palm Twister. This one was interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure why 
there is apple in this scent name because I got no apple whatsoever. Um, it really didn't even smell like a drink to me. And you know, you see that picture, you would think it smells like a refreshing beverage. I didn't get that. This kind of gave me like body care vibes. It was very, very different. Was not a fan. It wasn't awful. Um, it just was not my favorite. So that one would not be a repurchase, but this one would be. Peach Rings from Goose Creek. Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I remember getting this in the mail and this, when I placed this particular Goose Creek order, this one scent right here, this was the one I was most excited about because I love eating these. I get them from the gas station all the time. I love gummy peach rings. And on cold, I swear, smelled exactly like you had opened a bag of gummy peach rings. You kind of like got that, that sugary, like you know when those little sugar crystals fall to the bottom of the bag. And I was like, oh, please, please, please let this smell just as good warming. It did. It, on warm, this thing was like a, a 9 out of 10. It was such a good peach scent. I know not everybody is a lover of peach. Um, this was so good. It was very sweet. It was a very sweet, sugary peach. I loved it. Would get more of this. Although... I'm not sure if like they still have this. This may just be like a summertime thing for them, but peach rings, winner. And that is it, you guys. That's all I have. Um, I just want to thank y'all so much for clicking on on this Sunday evening. Now, before I tell y'all bye, I do need to correct something. Um, in my last week's empties, I had talked about... Um, my sassy girl aroma bag of what was it deep fried churros i believe and i had said here on my channel on my video that that was given to me by susan fitzpatrick in the round robin and i am so so sorry i misspoke and the bag of deep fried churros was not given by susan fitzpatrick love you susan i'm so sorry that i misspoke it was um given to me gifted to me by katherine king and so i do not want to um ever you know not give credit or say thank you to someone who blesses me with wax so katherine i am so sorry um but i you know how much i love that deep fried churros so katherine thank you so so much for blessing me with that um I absolutely am in love with that scent. I don't have much left. Um, so I do want to thank you. And I'm very, very sorry that I got the name wrong. But Catherine King, thank you so much. And thank you guys for spending some time with me. If you are not already a subscriber to Carrie's Collections, please hit that like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Um, thank you all for being a part of Carrie's Collections. I appreciate you and love you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your night and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.